Thank you guys for coming back to another episode of Cobra TV. Guys, June's right around the corner. E3 coming right up on us like uh, like Christmas. Bigger than Christmas, actually. I have not been more excited about an E3 than, than I have this one. And, yeah, I do know that No Man's Sky, you know, the game will be there. I, I, I'm not quite sure if uh, Hello Games will actually be there. I really think they will be. Um, but, you know, they could obviously show a new trailer without them being there but i really do believe that they're going to show up and they're going to be there so they're going to be doing the thing where you can uh, watch the ps4 conference the sony conference in the movie theaters and i was really contemplating on doing that because i really want to go however you know with the tempting offer that they're going to be giving something to the playstation uh the ps4 fans i you know i'm really tempted to go I don't think that that's going to be No Man's Sky, like people are saying all over the internet. I just, I don't see Sony uh, releasing a game like No Man's Sky. Uh, but you know what? They could. I would like it, <laughs> but I think uh, Hello Games deserves more respect than that. You know, I think that they deserve a really big uh, launch to a game that is going to make history. But if they don't get that, then that's fine because... Once this game gets out, even if it gets released just to one person, it spreads. It will spread. It will spread everywhere. It'll become one of the biggest games known to date. But I am super excited, and I don't know whether to stay home and uh, watch it live with Bookshelf Gaming or whether I should go to the movie theater and get that special prize and be with other people. I don't know. But the website that we have made, guys, Explore No Man's Sky, Explore NMS, it is doing great. Hundreds of people have joined, and you guys are amazing. You've joined, you've made accounts, you've done up your profile picture, you've started posting uh, topics all over the place. And it makes me feel really, really good inside that, you know, that we are such a strong community that everybody can come over and get on board and just do this thing up. Because what the website is going to be is it's going to be a, a way for us to compile all the information that we find in No Man's Sky. Like everyone that's a part of this community right here, uh, this, this No Man's Sky Cobra TV community, we are going to, if, you know, list all the plants all the <laughs> all of the um the planets all of the animals all of the fish the aquatic stuff and we're going to compile that into an, an encyclopedia on the website that way we can share the url for that encyclopedia to anywhere we want and we could actually end up having the biggest collection of no man's sky data of the universe anywhere on the internet and I really want all of you guys to be a part of that. And uh, it looks like the information's on the website twice. The other uh, mapping out the universe section is so that way you guys can post. Let's say you want to post a planet to the encyclopedia. Bam, you, you post it to the encyclopedia. You give a description, uh, you know, some details about it. But then you go down and you can post it again in the other in the discussion part where you could post it and you could talk about it and people can comment on it and uh, you know, at, they can ask you questions, you can give answers. But anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm going way, way too off. I'm, I'm just super excited about it and I'm so happy that you guys have come over and you've started to get so active in it. And there's a lot of stuff to do right now that, um, that you know, we don't have to wait for the game to come out to join and get active in it. There's, there's a lot of things in there that um, post pictures of, of things that we already know have but guys we are explorers we are explorers in this dangerous universe filled with a uh, journey and adventure and who knows what we're going to encounter who knows what what we're going to become who knows what you are going to become who knows what stories people are going to make up uh, through role playing who knows what uh, things we're going to find out there and this website this website is for explorers it's for you and it's for me it's Think of it as like uh, it's our headquarters. It's our explorer's headquarters, like NASA. You know, we may not be able to all play together, but we can come from one headquarters and we can come together and map out this universe better than any community out there. But it's I thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys are so amazing and I love you guys.
this is a subcast with an amazing subscriber that you know I, I really had such a great time uh, talking to. I am going to be finishing up that Galaxy, the Galaxy Three uh, episode, the Universal Galactic episode three, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> and uh, look out for that. Until next time. All right, thank you for coming on Cobra TV, Dante. It's good to have you here. No problem. So when it comes to No Man's Sky, uh, I've been asking a lot of people um, the same questions pretty much. And what I want to ask you is, what is No Man's Sky to you? Why Why does this game radiate so much with you? Why do you want it so bad? And, you know, what does it stand for? Not what you're going to do in the game, but what does it stand for? So No Man's Sky is like a big one of like the biggest part of my life because like, um, I, I'm just so fascinated with space and this is like the biggest way that I can connect with it. Right. So, yeah. For me, uh, No Man's Sky stands for change. You know, the way mm. games are being made now. Uh, recently, you know, with all the, you know, DLC has a place in gaming, but I think that yeah. developers are abusing that, massively mm -hmm. abusing it. Um, and the fact that there's borders everywhere, you know, you get this great looking game and you look across and you can't go there. And, you know, with No Man's Sky, you can, you know, yeah. it's, it's freedom. It's, it's, it's real freedom. And that's what it, you know, means to me. So what do you think you're going to do in the game? Like, are you going to be an explorer, trader, zoologist? Are you going to be a fighter? Um, what are you going to do in No Man's Sky? I think that I'm just going to be exploring and be a zoologist, like, yeah, because, like, animals, like, there is such a wide variety of them, and you just can't, like, you won't see the same one on a different, uh, like, on a different planet or something like that. Yeah. Right, yeah. And, you know, the plants, you know, even so, oh, they're, yeah. they're going to catalog all the plants and oh, yeah. some of them are going to be alive to the point where they're like creatures themselves. Oh, yeah, that's going to be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me, I am eventually going to be that way. Maybe I'm going to be that way at the same time is what I'm going to do. What I plan on doing is trying to find as many online people as possible. Oh, yeah, definitely that because, like, yeah, my dad will be trying to play too. So, oh, yeah, definitely. You know, um, I, I want to be like one of the first people to purposely meet up with somebody to mm -hmm. travel across the galaxy and actually meet up and, you know, see what it's like to see what we look like and see what see what's what's possible about the interaction with each other can i can we kill each other can we shoot each other oh yeah can we trade you know who knows what we could do with each other maybe um because we have been told he has told us it's, it's going to be similar to journey now in journey um i've never played it um but <laughs> with journey you just don't know if it's an online player you don't see the name above them um I don't know if there's too much interaction between the two. Uh, right. I hope, I really, really hope that in when you finally get to see somebody that they're not like a ghost. Yeah, and they're just like, because you'll never like get to see yourself because like, I don't think there's a third person on there in any yeah, way. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But I hope they're not like in Dark Souls, you know, where it's like, oh, so yeah. another online player runs by you. They're like, like I don't know, like a... A highlighted like, character, you know? Yeah, like half of a person. Yeah, exactly. Almost like transparent, kind of. Yeah. I, I really hope, and I pray that No Man's Sky is not like that. Yeah. <laughs> there is a chance, though. Oh, but I God. Don't, I really don't think so. Yeah, that's going to, like, that will lose the, some, some like, of the community because, that, like, the only thing they'll be trying to do is search for their friends, which No Man's Sky is not like that, but some people will do that. Because yeah. it's so free. Right. You know, you play it the way you want to. Um, yeah. But, you know, I don't think that's not going to be a deal breaker for me. And I don't mm -hmm. think it's going to be a deal breaker for a lot of people. Especially yeah. with the fact that, you know, he said later on down the line, he does want to add a more traditional multiplayer experience to the game. So I think that the, those people will still, if it does turn out to be that way, they're not going to be completely turned off that uh, their friends are a ghost because mm -hmm. sooner or later they'll be able to really have co-op with their friend. Yeah. And that's what I that's what I really hope for. But, you know, I want it to, to be a little 
difficult, a lot difficult actually to find people for at least a <laughs> year, for at least a year, you know, yeah. it's going to be fun. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it, yeah, I think this game will stick around for a long time if the PS4 sticks around. Because, like, yeah, PS4 updates so much and, like, Xbox 2 and PC. Right. It just gets so new and then the games get outdated, which yep. I don't think No Man's Sky will become. <laughs> and, you know, that brings up another question that I've been kicking around in my head. When the PS5 comes out, if it does, <laughs> you know, I'm, you know, it's going to... We're getting ready to get into a point with the Steam machine coming out. Oh, uh, right. That the consoles, the, the PS5 and the next Xbox, they're going to have to change. Right. Otherwise, they're, gonna... they're not, they're not going to compete with the cheap, how cheap games are uh, for PC. I mean, you can go on and buy games for like seven bucks and they're not used. <laughs> you know, yeah. They're brand new. Um, Steam is just so crazy. Like, it has all the games. Like games from my childhood that I didn't even know were on Steam. Exactly. And uh, with the Steam box coming out, it's going to make that so easy for people to get. And it's upgradable. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, PlayStation 5, it's <laughs> it's going to have to be upgradable. Yes. They They're better gonna, step up their game. Yeah, they have to the next, with the next system. But, you know, I'm bringing that up because where does the future lay with uh, No Man's Sky? If, if it's a game that can last forever, yeah, then is it going to die with the PS4, or will it get an an update on graphics uh, for the next console? Well, like another game like Shadow of the Colossus, which was a crazy game when it came out. Right. They upgraded the the graphics all the way up to PS4 and stuff. Yeah, because I like play it on my PS4 all the time. Well, that's just a a remastered, isn't it? Well, yeah, but like still, like they remastered it, which means like No Man's Sky could get remastered at any time. Well, yeah, it'll be hard to yeah. do though. <laughs> well, I don't know. See, if um, the if if the hardware that they want to put it on is stronger and a lot you know mm -hmm. better, then I'm pretty sure that they could just add a better texture package to everything, a better render package to everything. And it right. just, you know, it just goes through and they just add it to the seed maybe and it just updates the whole entire thing. Not changing the landscapes, but making the rock look a little bit more real. The and look, water make, look a more real. Make um, it more vibrant. Yeah. So like so that colors. way the game can continue to live on from system to generation to generation to generation. Because mm -hmm. I can't see such a big big deal and a big game just dying with a console. Right. Yeah, it's just, they've put so much hard work into this game, and I don't want to see that go to waste. Yeah, and you know what? Maybe I'm overthinking it, too. It's like, yeah, dude, you know, the PS4 is still in its infancy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's going to be, like, the fuel, like, in the game, like, to get to different, like, planets and stuff. Like, I wonder if that's going to be, like, you use more fuel if you're going to travel to different, like, solar systems. Well, the only fuel that you're going to use and burn and mm -hmm. need is hyperdrive fuel. Your regular fuel. Oh, so, like, in the game, I can't remember it. Uh, it's at the top of my tongue. Um, there's this other game, and it's, oh, Starbound. That's what I was thinking of. It uses this fuel called Ecreus fuel, and it's really cool. It's like a 2D version of No Man's Sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the um, to travel around the solar system, to go on the planet and travel around, and mm -hmm. none of that takes any fuel. The okay. The time you're going to burn any fuels when you jump from uh, one solar system to the next, and if you run out of that fuel, you can still mm -hmm. fly around. Okay. So the whole point is they don't want you to get stuck in the middle of two solar systems. Yeah. It's, it's going to take way too long for you to get to the other one. Or it, it, they, just, they don't want you to get stuck. So there's never going to be yeah. a time that you're going to be able to say, I'm going to jump there. And then halfway there, you run out of fuel. It's not going to mm -hmm. happen that way. It's just going to say, BB, you can't jump that far. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's a cool interface. I like that idea. Yeah, I, I it's smart too because you know I yeah. downloaded a game called uh, <laughs> this is funny. I downloaded a game called Evo Mercenary. 
Mm-hmm. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not sure. And I ran out of gas. Oh, ran no. Out of fuel in my spaceship. And it's, it's almost just like No Man's Sky mixed with Elite. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I stalled on a planet Uh-oh. upside down because I was I had no fuel. And I, I couldn't move. I couldn't get out. I couldn't fly. <laughs> I, there's nothing I could do. And oh, that's terrible. I know. So I'm really happy that No Man's Sky. It's going to be fun, and it's going to be yeah. It's going to be easy to play. It's not you know, I it, like games yeah. that are hard to play. I like the learning curves. I like the mm-hmm. real simulator, semi aspects of like Elite and Evo Turn. But I want a game that's like really fast paced and really, I don't know, immersive and instant yes at some point it it stops getting so realistic because like with no man's sky there's so much physics and like you have to like stop at some point yeah yeah with like planets and traveling to different solar systems and it's not smart that like blowing up when you're entering an atmosphere i mean it's realistic at some point but i mean yeah yeah all right buddy uh it it was awesome having you on the show it was awesome being here. Thank you. No problem. No problem at all. Do you want to give anybody a shout out? Um, I'd like to give a, a shout out to my friend Dustin. Um, he likes No Man's Sky too, and I think he's subscribed. But awesome. yeah. All right. Cool. Definitely. Um, all right. Well, we'll have a talk again sometime in the future. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. I don't know what time it is there, but. You too. All right. See you later. See you later.